Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bright Side and part two of our Magic Kingdom day here at Walt Disney World. Now we've got something really excited planned for today. We booked it a couple of months ago and it is the restaurant experience. It is the, where are we eating? Be Our Guest. The Be Our Guest. So we are going to eat with it's Beauty that. and the Beast. So let's go check it out. Enchanted Tales with Belle, but we are heading in this direction because this is the restaurant. Look at these very cool gargoyles. Kind of looks a little bit like my mum. Absolutely loving the theming here as we enter the restaurant. You can see Beast's Castle up there on the hill. Yeah, this is real nice. I've heard a lot of good things about this restaurant, so it'll be really good to check it out. Let's head in. Oh, look at the theming in here. This is very cool. We have literally just stepped inside of Beast's Castle. And we're now waiting for our name to be called. We're all checked in, so... Oh, it's too hot for a fire. What is he thinking? So this is a restaurant we've wanted to eat at for, oh, well, nine years since 2013. We haven't been able to get in here because it's because the demand for it is so great. It's always booked out, isn't it? But we were very lucky a few months ago because we... We were just checking. We just like refreshed the page and up it popped. So we just grabbed we just it straight away. So can't wait. Oh. This is amazing. I do hope that the food lives up to the theming. Oh, the air conditioning in here is amazing. It's about 90 degrees outside. I think it's up in the low 90s today. So whatever it is, it's hot. This is your favourite film, isn't it? If uh, memory recalls yes, correctly. Is. Beauty and the Beast. She is a girl that is more interested in books than men. Yep. And loves to eat. <laughs> yeah. I agree. <laughs> I'm loving the carpet here. I wonder if there's any hidden Mickeys. Usually in these sorts of patterns, they do embed hidden Mickeys. Now some of them are really easy to spot, but some of them you've got to have a real eagle eye. I can't see any. I don't know if I don't know if any are, are in this carpet, but um, I don't know. I would have thought somewhere. We've been in here about ten minutes, and do you know what? I don't mind. I like sitting in here in the air conditioning and just soaking up the atmosphere. Loving this. Super excited. We've just been called. Oh wow, look at this. Welcome to our beautiful grand ballroom, everybody. The grand ballroom. Oh wow, a window seat. Well, this is absolutely stunning. And some Disney magic there. It is even snowing outside the window. Look at that. Again, I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but there it is. It is actually snowing at Walt Disney World. I mean, Beast's Castle. So to access the lunch menu, we've got to scan the QR code and then it will pop right up on our phones. So they do beer and cider. So we've got Cronenberg, Stella Artois, 
Hogarden. Um, never heard of that one, actually, but then again, I'm not a drinker. Cider City Jail, uh, something, IPA. Oh, that's a Floridian based one, okay. Signature non-alcoholic drinks. Hubert's Pomegranate Limeade. That's quite nice. Minute Maid Premium Lemonade. All right. So Shelley's just scanned the QR code and so is perusing the menu. Menu. So it's $62 per adult. Say it again, how much? $62 per adult. It's yep. a price fixed menu. It's a price fixed menu, isn't it? You yeah. get three courses. Yeah. 37 per child. Yeah. Um, and then you get to pick, pick what you want in your, in your courses. Yeah, nice. All right. So we've just put our drinks order in. We're actually keeping it fairly simple today. Shelley and I are just going to stick with soft drinks because it's all um, included in the price. We didn't, um, to be and honest. It's very hot. And we're very it is close. quite hot out there. I, I, yeah, I, I didn't really want um, sort of copious amounts of alcohol, uh, so we will be having copious amounts of soft drink instead. Right, this is your favourite movie, isn't it? Or this restaurant is based on your favourite movie. What are your first impressions of this restaurant? Yep. I mean, look at it, it's stunning. Yep. Um, I haven't been to an explore around the rest of the castle yet, so I will. Yeah. They do invite you to explore, but sort of toward the tail end of your experience here, don't they? Yeah. So we will definitely be checking out the West Wing, which you're not allowed to go into officially, but apparently it's been opened up, especially for this dining experience. So we are going to be going into the West Wing later on, so. Right, our drinks have arrived. Apparently we can have as many Coca-Colas as we want. The soft drinks are just a part of the price. So if you want to have just one glass or 20 gallons, they will allow you to do that. And also there is a bread service here. So we've got some lovely warm bread rolls with some butter. So let's get stuck in. Yeah, just a standard bread roll but there is something very delicious when it's um, hot. Mm. Yeah, nice. I will be requiring another Coke. Right, a little bit difficult to see because of the uh, low light level in here, but my French onion soup has arrived. Shelley went with like a meat and cheese platter, which looks really good. Like it's a little bit difficult to pick up with the light level, but that looks good. Tilly, you went with some cheese and fruit, didn't you? Which looks really good. And AJ went with like a, what is it? Like a peach puree, like an apple puree. Peach and apple, Yeah. Cool. All right. Right, let's get stuck into this. There is a mountain of cheese. Wow. <laughs> Look at this layer of cheese. This is amazing. Pretty nice. I haven't had French onion soup for quite a long time. I believe the last time I had French onion soup, I was actually in France. That is a phenomenal cheese pull. Look at that. It's still going. It's still going. How is your meat and cheese platter? Because I know that's right up the street, isn't it? Meat and cheese. What type of cheese have you got? You've got Stilton there, haven't you? Or some sort of blue cheese? Brie, and then a hard cheese like the cheddar. Like, I don't like want to cheddar. say that it is cheddar for definite, but Cheddar definitely. like. I've got a pate, I've got some treats and yeah. then some like parma ham type. Yeah, looks really good. So a little bit of mustard and a little bit of um, chutney. Yeah. Oh, the beast is going to make an appearance. Where is he going to come from? There he is! Hey Matilda, look, the beast! Wow! He seems to be in a very good mood. Maybe he's met Belle already, because, you know, he's normally a bit grumpy, isn't he? 
I've never had so much cheese on top of soup in my life. Right, mine has arrived. A nice fillet of beef that looks delicious on some like, I think, mashed potato. That looks real good. Can't wait to get stuck in. And Shelbo, you went with fish, didn't you? Fish and vegetables. Um, and then kids have got um, chicken some, and beef. Yeah, it doesn't look quite as good now because we've obviously cut the meat up for the kids, but uh, they've got some meat and some chips and some uh, beans. So, looking nice. Chili there, digging in. That mashed potato is delicious. It's very buttery, just as mash should be, in my opinion. Yeah, that steak is nice and tender, right where it should be for medium rare, where I asked for it to be. Yeah, nice. How's your fish, Elbel? Yeah, I just tasted it as well. It was. Yeah. Very nice. That was a really nice steak, um, cooked exactly how I wanted it. But the, I was saying to Shelley, like the, it, the the topping was, you know, when you, you cook it with seasoning, don't you? Salt and pepper and whatnot. Um, it was quite salty, but good salt. It was really nice. I, I enjoyed it. Um, but it is making me really thirsty. So I've got my third Coca-Cola on its way. Now, how fun is this? The kids have got a little paintbrush each and they've got some edible paint. They've got a little white chocolate chip cup that they can paint up and eat. There's like a little macaron there and a little bit of the grey stuff. That looks awesome. Oh, and a little truffle there by the look of it. What do you think, Matilda? Wait, I'm painting my macaroon. You are. No, is it a macaroon or a macaron? Which did you say? Macaroon. Did you say macaroon? Because there is a difference with a macaroon and a macaron, and I can't think off the top of my head which it is, but... And for Shelley and me, we have got an almond macaroon, or macaron, with like a strawberry... Swirl. Swirl inside. I'm trying to think of the word there. A chocolate cup with the grey stuff inside. And then a chocolate truffle. This looks... Amazing. Wow, Matilda is painting up that macaroon. Ooh. Have you done any painting on chip? Not yet. Oh, how was your chocolate? Your um, grey stuff? Was that nice? Yeah. AJ being very delicate there with his painting. <laughs> So, this is the grey stuff. Yeah, let's see what it's all about because, um, you know, what, what is it? Asking the dishes and all? Ask uh, the dishes if it's... Try the, like... the grey stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe us, ask the dishes. All right. So, here is the grey stuff. Mm. Is it good? Yeah, it is good. You need to try some. I will. <laughs> Nice. The grey stuff is nice. It's not actually, what it's not, it's not ridiculously sweet, is it? No. No, it's really light. Mm. And actually very tasty. It's a very light chocolate mousse, but not yeah, not crazy sweet. Yeah, no. The little chocolate like bowl that the grey stuff came in, I actually thought was like a set like milk chocolate. It's actually a chocolate biscuit. Um, which I didn't expect it to be. So you know when you kind of think, that's different to what I thought it was going to be, I don't like that. I do quite like it, but it's not my favourite. But the grey stuff itself inside, very nice. Shelley's just double checked on the menu, it's a macaron, not a macaroon. Right, we've got the bill, just so you guys know. So for four of us, Two adults and two children. The children are thirty-seven dollars. The adults are sixty-two. The bill is with tax two hundred and ten dollars. All right. 
Okay, we knew that's what it was going to be, so we're not shocked by that. Wow, 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 wow. So they do invite you to look around this restaurant, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to enter the West Wing, the forbidden West Wing. Ooh, it's very spooky in here, isn't it? See everything like torn to shreds. And there's a little bit of thunder and lightning, yeah, look at that. All right, very spooky. So I would assume if that's the West Wing, this must be the East Wing, right? That's what I would uh, refer to it as. Let's have a look in this one. Oh, this looks a little bit nicer than the uh, West Wing, doesn't it? you got Belle and Beast up there, like, having a little bit of a dance. Oh yes, this is much more civilised than the West Wing. I like this very much. Yeah. Some nice artwork on the wall. I do like that centrepiece, that's nice. All right, okay. Now, as lovely as those two rooms are, I think this has to be the centrepiece room. I was very glad that we were seated in here, actually, looking at the two or well, three choices. To me, this is the winner. Okay, heading out. It's very bright, isn't it? I will be requiring the shades. That's better. Love in that waterfall effect. That river going under the bridge, leading into the restaurant. Beast Castle, high up there on the hill. Right, we've just got done with lunch. Uh, I thought that that was delicious. So $62 per adult. Is it worth that price? I, I think, think so. it is. I think because you're also paying for that overall experience. Uh, the theming in there is second to none. So you have the three choices to eat at or eat in. And I'm so glad that we were in like that main room, that ballroom, um, given the the other two choices. I that blew me away. I thought that was beautiful. Yeah, that so, window seems lovely. and we were right by the window as well. You know, the food was delicious. Food is really good. Service was great. Yeah, yeah. Service is great. So the bill total came to two hundred and ten dollars. We had to pay some. Um, well, you don't have to, but you, you had to pay. We had to pay a tip on top of that as well, which is absolutely fine because we had some great service from uh, Chris. So if Chris ever watches this video, big shout out to you, man. Right, we're going to leave that video there. That's our second video from our Magic Kingdom day, so I really hope you enjoyed it. We shall see you next Friday with episode three from Magic Kingdom. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, etc. We are on social media. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at my side. So check us out there. So from us to you, cheers, cheers. and gone. I just want to quickly film on this side of the bridge. So it'll be the right hand side as you go in. So that's where the waterfall is, which is lovely, the castle up there. And looking down on a very nice sedate river there that flows under that bridge, which will take you then towards the Little Mermaid ride, the backside of the Seven Dwarfs mine train. Really nice. What a fabo restaurant. I would definitely eat here again.